welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to look stage 3 of substation gantry structure load calculation based upon european standard en50341 part 1 in this stage 3 we are going to discuss about wind pressure and forces on components various components of gantry structures such as conductor earth wire structure insulator equivalent ice covered diameter of wires Next one we need to calculate wind pressure on various components. So for that we need to find out the equivalent diameter of ice covered diameter for uh, conductor and earth wire. So for that class 4.2.4. sorry 4 of IS sorry EN50341 part 1 to be referred page number 59. So this is a formula to find out the equivalent diameter D of ice covered conductor because this formula is very important whenever the uh, conductor is subjected to wind we no need to consider this uh, ice covered if suppose the conductor over a long period of 100 uh, over a long span of 100 meter suppose it is going to covered with ice then the ice cover will uh, create more exposed surface to wind so in order to find out uh, this uh, exposed cover by ice for wind load consideration we need to find out uh, this uh, covered diameter of conductor so for that this is a formula where d is a, a capital d is the total ice covered uh, we are going to consider so in our excel calculation we are defining this as d ice and d small d is a, a conductor diameter i is a reference ice load where rho l is a density of ice rho ice rho i so we already having this uh, rho i value based upon our uh, ice type soft rim ice and with a national annexer we are having the reference ice load as 10 newton per meter so applying this also we are knowing the conductor diameter here in the input as a 17.3 so now the ice covered diameter of conductor is 68.01 mm similar like for earth wire the same rho i and i we are going to consider only thing the diameter is going to change instead of small d d square 17.3 for conductor we are going to con have the conductor as a earth wire diameter is 0.148 so for that 67.42 mm is coming so these are the two ice covered area for ice covered diameter for both conductor and earth wire you remember that in uh, previous uh, input data like here input data we had uh, seen that dead weight of uh, that is uh, due to weight of earth wire we had calculated something here right instead of uh, 31 kg of this uh, dry unit weight we had consider this ice weight also so this 1.56 is nothing but it is calculated from this ice covered diameter so this ice covered diameter is considered here in order to find out the increase weight of earth wire due to ice conditions so here what we had consider is we had added this earth wire weight into ice covered area ice covered area we are knowing that the diameter of the ice as by d square by 4 we, we will get that area of ice covered that into a density of ice which we are having is 30 kg per meter cube so it is by d square by 4 the d is nothing but this d ice of earth wire where we had find out just now yes this is 67.42 so by d square is 64.74 
square divided by 4 into density is 300 kg per meter cube we are having an added weight to the earth wire in case of ice so that is why we are getting higher weight in case of ice condition so next one is wind uh, the pressure we need to calculate there are three type of wind pressure we need to consider one is the extreme wind pressure where there is no ice to be considered another two that is high wind pressure and moderate wind pressure are to be considered in case of where there is ice we are going to consider so these are well defined in uh, class 4.2.4 1b and a uh, respectively where we need to consider this uh, moderate wind speed and uh, where we need to consider this high wind speed so for that uh, page number 58 to be referred so here you can see an extreme ice load equal to the design value of the ice load with a moderate wind we need to consider for extreme ice load case also the high wind speed combined with a moderate ice load we need to consider so there are some two cases we need to consider one is extreme load case we need to consider the moderate weight moderate wind so also the factors to be considered also given here the moderate wind ranges from 0.55 to 0.65 so we are considering here 0.6 from extreme wind similar like the high wind pressure we need to consider where there is moderate ice load so it is a combination of moderate ice load and high wind speed so for that for high wind speed we need to consider 0.7 to 0.85 times the extreme wind so simply we are multiplying this 0.75 with the extreme wind speed so how to arrive this wind speed the extreme wind speed we are already calculated this wind speed a dynamic wind pressure as qh as half into rho into vh square so rho is 1.225 kg per meter cube and vh is we already calculated as 28.69 meter per second so so finally we had arrived this three type of wind uh, pressure extreme high and moderate wind and we will going and we are going to apply this into various components of gantry structures first one is wind on uh, conductor so as we we had seen here there are some formulas uh, given how to calculate the wind uh, pressure sorry wind force on each element so here you can see wind forces and conductors it had given some formulas the same formulas we are applying here and we are getting 15.25 newton per meter so we are not considering the length as here it is mentioned l1 plus l2 divided by 2 into cos square phi phi is nothing but it is a angle of deviation so we are not going to consider this only up to this gh sorry qh gq gc cc into d only up to this we are considering here hence it is 15.25 newton per meter similar like for high wind it is 53.95 why here it is the value is increases because of in high wind and moderate wind we need to consider the diameter as equivalent diameter of ice covered diameter so d ice to be considered so far if you are considering the d ice it is 53.95 newton per meter and similar like for moderate wind also we need to consider this d ice as a diameter of uh, a conductor so finally we had consider we had find out the wind force per meter in on uh, conductor next one is wind on insulator we need to find out for that this is a formula this formula we need to refer page number 54 here you can see in that uh, except area of the insulator we are uh, calculating the value so it means the uh, the pressure we are considering we are calculating just uh, multiplying all the factor uh, gust factor resonant factor and drag factor with the wind pressure
so same for wind speed we are considering high wind pressure for force calculation for uh, high wind and moderate wind pressure for moderate wind forces similar like for wind on structure generally in european standard they used to calculate wind forces on structure in three direction one is uh, zero which is parallel to conductor another one is 90 which is perpendicular to conductor span another one is 45 which is a diagonal to conductor span so we are going to calculate the same way in three directions anyhow that uh, 0 and 90 degree to be the same value only the direction is going to change uh, magnitude are same so we are applying this into drag coefficient so drag coefficient we already find out as 2.55 using the assumed solidity ratio of 0.25 so so applying this uh, ct1 and gt into qh we are having 2. Point, uh, we are getting 2.57 kN per meter square because this value should be divided by 1000 to get the kN generally this value is in newton per uh, meter square so for finding this uh, formula we can refer here the formula to find out for lattice tower so qh gq gt these all to be multiplied so these are the drag coefficient value and the next one is for 45 degree it is nothing but we are going to multiply it into cos 45 so we are getting 1.82 so similar like for high wind and moderate wind we are going to change only the wind speed based upon the requirement based upon the type because for high speed we are going to multiply this is 378.12 newton per millimeter square and for moderate wind we are going to multiply this 302.5 newton per meter square instead of the extreme wind so that's all the change here and finally we are going to calculate wind on earth wire so for wind on earth wire the same formula for a conductor we need to apply so here we are directly calculating the value by considering the span both the span of conductor here le1 and le2 are the respective spans in a transmission line tower and substation side so it is uh, 125 meter which uh, we had considered earlier as an input so only thing here three different wind load we are going to consider that it's depend upon the respective wind uh, pressure the extreme wind high wind pressure and moderate wind pressure this value is going to change again for this uh, earth wire also we need to consider this ice covered uh, area only so where here it is missing in this calculation so it is better to consider that because this conductor is uh, small part in any of uh, the uh, component of gantry structure so we need to consider only the conductor diameter in ice covered condition so it is a mistake in this calculation so we need to change that uh, whereas ice covered area for earth wire to be considered for uh, wind uh, exposure so here it is so this is in uh, so here we need to consider the diameter so this the diameter is in uh, millimeter we have to divide it into thousand so it is 2.79 now similar like this case also we need to consider the diameter of ice covered earth wire it is 2.72 km so this is uh, general wind and ice load calculation for environmental conditions thank you look description for more related videos 
subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you